It's bad enough that my children have to wake up with floodwaters in their home. I will not allow this for my grandchildren. Last August, my house was flooded, um, partially due to climate change, partially due to the oil industry. Heavy rain unleashed floods. A severe weather across the country has claimed the lives of at least 17 people. This flooding is like an exclamation point to me on the climate marches. If you'd like to know why I went, why I spoke, and why I'll continue to resist efforts to undermine a stable climate, you can come stand in the rainwater running through my hallway right now. We have a pipeline called uh, Bayou Bridge Pipeline. It's the tail end of the Dakota Access Pipeline. It's going to go through 700 waterways if we were to let it. It would destroy 600 acres of wetlands if we were to let it. It would destroy a portion of our wild-caught craw fisheries if we were to let it and our indigenous lands and sacred mounts, if we were to let it. I believe that it is selfish, it is damn selfish, to put this battle and the effects of climate change onto our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren. There is no way to move crude that doesn't have some risk associated with it. And I want you to do whatever you can, wherever you are, to stop energy transfer partners. This is a hateful, heinous company that has attacked our brothers and sisters up in North Dakota, and we will not let them cross our bayous. And we need your help. Climate justice is liberation for future generations. And we will stand up, fight back. We will.